Some people tell you it's about to go up. Some people tell you it's about to go down. But the question is, what's about to happen with cryptocurrency? Can we predict it? Well, the charts will give us an idea of where it's going. Right here, you can see this is the chart of Bitcoin. This is the chart of Dogecoin. Then this is the chart of Ethereum right there. Bitcoin is going to be really the trendsetter here. Whatever Bitcoin does, we're likely going to see a lot of the other cryptos follow it, even though it may be a little bit less so. For example, we've seen Dogecoin spiking at times when Bitcoin was either going down a little bit or staying around the same. We've seen Ethereum spiking on its own every crypto has the ability to go up or down on its own but when you see big movement in the entire market oftentimes it is bitcoin that is either leading the pack or taking the pack down that's kind of just how it works bitcoin has really absolutely gone up massively since the beginning of the year somewhat gradual but also pretty dang fast i guess it just depends how you look at it if you're a slow moving person then this thing went at the speed of freaking light zooming up there if you're a medium speed moving person okay well then it probably moved at a decent pace then if you're a fast moving person if you think fast this may have taken forever for you. It was super slow then. In that case, going up to around that $63,000 area before falling back a decent amount, now coming back up again to around that $45,000 to $50,000 range. It's been sitting there for a little bit, going back and forth between those ranges. Then with Dogecoin, what we've seen with it is at the beginning part of the year, a nice size percentage-wise spike that was then dwarfed by the one that we saw in that May area with a massive, massive, massive boom all the way up to 72 cents and above that, even going as high as 75 cents for a very, very, very short period of time there before coming back down. And then we go over here to the Ethereum chart. You can see Ethereum chugging along at a similar pace as BTC, a little bit even more gradual, but more consistency going up. And then Ethereum went back down again. And then look at that, boom, going all the way back up similarly to where it was during its all-time high period. So Ethereum is one of the strongest cryptos right now. NFTs are playing definitely a big role in that. The smart contract ability that it has has definitely led to a lot of use cases to where people are going to hold their Ethereum and also use it for other things. That's why cryptos often go up when they have more use cases. Dogecoin is getting a lot of those use cases, which is exciting to think about. It's fun to consider, but we do have some patience. We do have to have some patience. This is required to some degree right now, but I think it's important to compare these charts. Bitcoin and Ethereum actually do look pretty dang similar. Bitcoin actually a little bit lower than where I think it could be based on what we're seeing with Ethereum. Then Ethereum though is kind of scary looking. I mean, let's be honest. Yes, it has the ability to go to $10,000. I think that will happen at some point within the next few years here. But even though it has the ability to, I mean, when you look at a chart like that, you do have to think, oh my gosh, this looks like the second bounce of something that's about to cause a crash. It could go down to around the thousand dollar area if we do see that negative side happening. The only way that I see Ethereum actually going up to $10,000 by the end of this year is if there's a major good news positive story that comes out. For example, Tesla doing something or another big company, Amazon, whoever the heck it is, Walmart, if a big company starts accepting multiple cryptocurrencies and Ethereum's on that list, then I think it will happen. Otherwise, it could lose some support. And if it does, it could fall fast. See, that's why it's kind of crazy with crypto because one thing could cause it to fall and one thing could cause it to, to jump massively. And that could change the entire course and history of cryptocurrency, just one event. So you have to consider that you have to look at it. Then with Dogecoin, we actually have the most potential of any of these top cryptos right now by far. And you can see it in the chart with Bitcoin. It's come back up more than it has with Dogecoin. With Ethereum, it's come back up more by a lot than it has with Dogecoin. And yes, it is true that really that area right there where it was at around 50 cents is the real top for Dogecoin because a lot of these people coming in were literally just for a tiny short period of time and not None of them, for the most part, a small percentage did, but for the most part, none of that extra money had plans to stay in there from the people who were doing it. They were gonna take it out no matter what. So it's kind of an artificial high just for a very short period of time there for Dogecoin. But we have seen still a lot less of the upper direction here for the, the latter part. Of, of this next run that we're in right now, because we are kind of in a run at this current point in time. I mean, you could argue it's a little bit stagnant and you could win that argument, but nonetheless, I mean, just depends. If you look at it zoomed in, then it looks a little different than if you looked at it zoomed out. But I think Dogecoin right now, and we know it's going to most likely go up above 40 cents. That is what the chart is indicating. And obviously news can change that, but what we can look for for Dogecoin right now is above 40 cents within the next month here. That should happen and we're most likely going to see it happening. So continue looking out for that as we also see this, Bitcoin's diminishing supply and rising price. An interesting chart to look at there. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and talk about this. Robinhood Watts, it's about dang time. We finally have a little bit of an update from Vlad Tinev. He actually responded 
And this was kind of funny. Right here he says, Win Wallace, under a Robin Hood tweet. By the way, if you don't know, Vlad Tinev, I've talked to him a few times on Twitter. We're following each other. And he said, Win Wallace, about his own company. That's right, Robin Hood, Win Wallace. Even your CEO is trying to ask when the wallets are coming. There have been some difficulties. That's what I'm hearing from Robin Hood. I have sources within the company who can give us information, but we can't always get inside information. It's only sometimes, it just depends on how inside the company it is. If it's only with the top people, we may not hear about it, but as long as most people in the company know, then we actually can get some of this information. And one thing I can tell you right now is it's actually extremely difficult for Robinhood to implement WAS, as it is for any company. It seems like, oh, they're a big company, but still people running it. It's normal human beings who wake up in the morning, put their pants on two legs at a time that are running this right now. And of course, that is going to be susceptible to difficulties. That's what they're having right now. It's not easy, but they are going to figure it out almost certainly. Win Wallets, Vlad Tinev saying to this tweet right here, which talked about what happened in crypto this week. And a lot of people watch these videos and see what happened lately with crypto on Robinhood. Since so many people with Dogecoin are holding it on Robinhood, this is extremely significant. We need Robinhood to release the wallets before Dogecoin can really go to those next levels that we want to see it going to. It's going to happen. It has a high chance of actually taking off to the moon literally and also metaphorically, but that is a big key factor there because companies are going to be way more likely to want to accept it considering how many people want to spend it when the majority of the holders have the ability to spend it by having access to an easily accessible wallet. And also Robinhood is pretty dang good at partnerships. So they're, they're most likely and almost certainly going to get partnerships with companies to where you can easily and seamlessly use your cryptocurrency. If Amazon and Robinhood partner, it's over. It does go to the moon. At that point, it's over. And I would not be surprised at all. Amazon, Robinhood, it, it could definitely, it, there could definitely be something there. We're going to try to push for it after the wallets are released. So many things we can do at that point. So it's exciting, but we ha do have to have some patience here. CEO of Latinf, he's also said this, I know there's been a ton of enthusiasm from the crypto community and the Dogecoin community in particular in getting access to wallets. That's what he said. Then he continued suggesting there were plans for support for more coins to come in the near future as well. So not only are they working on the wallets for all cryptocurrency, not just for Dogecoin, but Dogecoin by far will be the most benefactor, the most benefited cryptocurrency from this, but they're also working on adding new cryptos to new platform so who the heck knows what could be in store for that in the future literally any crypto out there probably almost certainly cardano will be in there xrp is already in there then we're going to see a bunch of other cryptos they're going to be looking at what if they even add some weird ones in there? Who the heck knows? Solana will probably get an opportunity to go in there. Who the heck knows how far down they could go? Are they going to try to be Coinbase and just add every single crypto under the sun? Economically speaking, that kind of makes sense because then you can make more money. Robinhood been struggling when all the competition is coming in and giving people access to wallets. When all the competition is coming in and giving people access to smarter trades, Robinhood's a good first step app when you're investing in stocks, when you're investing in crypto. But if you actually want to make more serious trades, you want to go somewhere else, most likely, where you can do that more seamlessly. It's harder on Robinhood. So people will go there first. Then as they start to get more involved in these communities, as they start to get smarter when it comes to trades, then you move on to a different app. That's just the way it works with Robin Hood and that's the way it's most likely going to continue to work but back to this chart here which I think is very interesting Bitcoin's diminishing supply and rising price so even though there are some people who are rightly saying there's a chance it can go down because there is I mean look at that chart that's the Ethereum chart it's up high and it's the second one we've seen this many times unfolding in crypto it'll go up once it'll go down it'll go up again before falling back a really 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 large amount Dogecoin seems significantly safer based on the chart right and we can all see that I've been saying it for a while Dogecoin has the most potential because it really does. Then Bitcoin, a very similar chart, like I said, to Ethereum, as we're hopefully going to not see that crash, but it does look like a similar pattern as what we've seen in the past before a crash. So we have to be cognizant of that. But here's the argument against there being a crash. And this argument is pretty dang good. I'll be honest, it is. And we want to be honest about that because we have to really actually get an accurate picture of what's going to happen. We're optimistic for a reason, but we're not going to ignore the negative side either, like I said. But the Bitcoin, Bitcoin's diminishing supply and rising price. You can see as the price starts to go up over time, you can get an idea of where it is in these yellow lines right here going up. And right now it is currently at $48,000 approximately. And 
It looks like it could go all the way up to, oh, look at that, $100,000, then $200,000. If this chart continues being accurate as it has been in the past, as you see the Bitcoin supply annual percent change, that's the white line there going down. And all of this is scaled, which means it doesn't just go up 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. It starts off extremely small, one, two, four, 10, 20. And so with that, you get a very different type of chart, a very different picture, but because a lot of money can go in in a single day, that's why this chart is very accurate when it comes to predicting the future. That's why this chart is a heck of a good place to look if you want to know where crypto is going, if you want to know what the high upside chances are there and Bitcoin annual average price as well. You can also see what's happening with that as it goes up, 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 up. What the heck are we going to see? Will it be another crash or not? A small crash before a major spike is absolutely on the table. And keep in mind, when I say these things, it could crash, it could go down. I don't mean it's going to go down and stay down forever. I mean, it'll go down before that next leg up. So we're still going to see a future spike with cryptocurrency. Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of them are going to be included in that. It is still coming, but the question is just what's going to happen first? Because especially if you want to trade or if you're looking at when to put money into the market, you want to know that stuff. You want to have an idea of when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, who's going to do it, who's responsible for this, what is Matt Wallace saying, what the heck does Matt Wallace think is going to happen, what the heck is Matt Wallace's chart suggesting, or what the heck is another person's chart? Who the heck knows? It would look, look wherever you want. But that's kind of the picture we're getting right now. So with wallets with wallet coming, with all of that positive energy combined with what we're seeing with the high upside and also articles like this coming out where people say, look at that. We could absolutely see Bitcoin going up above $100,000 this year. A Bloomberg senior analyst said that. Three re reasons he gave why it could go up. You can see adoption has a role to a lot of reasons coming in. BTC to 100K. Will we see it? Can it happen? Will the chart chart shows it. So now all that has to happen is the execution of that will happen. That's the question, right? Of course it will. Of course. Come on, guys. Well, we know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. But anyway, if you have not subscribed with notifications on, what the heck are you doing? There's a button right down there. You can click it and then you can get all these latest updates on cryptocurrency and what's happening with it. So all of us can be making all of the money and have the advantage in the market there. I'm Matt Wass. This is Final Stand and I will see you in the next video.